I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for taking along today. I'm going to be sharing my meal prep and that's it. <laughs> I'm hoping to get, uh, let's see, some chicken pot pie, the, the uh, Starbucks drink, and my waffles, my waffle sandwich done. So let's see how far I get. I have great expectations, you know. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to be making my Starbucks pink drink, and I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to start by making, I put one of the little tea bags in there. I didn't realize I was making a whole picture of it, but I love this tea anyway, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to pour some hot water in it, and then it's going to have to steep for five minutes, and then I can do the next step. So here we go. Okay, so I have the tea brewed, and now I'm going to add, I'm going to try, this is my experiment, <laughs> um, I'm going to try adding the stevia powder, just the plain stevia powder. I'm so nervous about this. And then mix it in with my whisk. I'm just nervous that I put too much in. I'll mix the drink up and try it. Okay, I forgot to say I put a half a teaspoon of stevia in the, the um, passion. It's this tea that I used. So I only put a half a teaspoon in there, but I'm gonna be mixing it with ice and water and almond milk. That's what I'm gonna put in on the top. But I have my ice in here now, and I'm going to fill this half full with the um, tea stuff. And then, that's still pretty warm, actually. And I'll put the almond milk in and shake it for a I just really hope it's deep enough. And then I actually have... Um, frozen strawberries. I'm just gonna like break off a chunk and stick it in there. I'm just improvising because I don't have everything, but I still want to try it. But there we go. Put the lid on and then make it. It looks pink. Be interesting to see how it tastes.
waffles. Okay, that's my commentary by my son. But this is the uh, breaky sandwich with the waffles with uh, some egg, some cheese, some sausage, and then I put some spinach in there to get in some veggies. Waffles. But I took one waffle and like split it in half because it was so thick. I'm not exactly sure how to make thinner waffles, waffles but it was really thick. And my son thinks that I should make him waffles now. Yes. All right, here we go. These are my waffle, my welcome back waffles. For part of my meal prep, I'm just doing my breakfast meal prep because that's the thing I tend to do lousy at if I don't prep it. So there you go, my waffles. That is delicious. It's really, really, really good. I'm so glad I tried it. I just want it to be a little colder, so I'm not gonna drink a whole bunch of it until I get some more eyes in it. Cause right now it's warm and I don't appreciate that. Okay, these are the brownie for one um, recipe that I found on the Trim Healthy Mama Facebook page. And I made two because I had two eggs that I needed to use up. And I love brownies, so I'm hoping these are really good. And if they're kind of weird, I'm gonna add frosting. Frosting fixes everything, right? Okay, so this is my um, chicken pot pie, and I didn't do the crust, but I had a special reason. I made a pizza crust a while ago, and it dried on me, and it was really weird. So trying to use it as a pizza just won't work. And I was, when I went to make my um, pot pie, I was like, ooh, I want to try putting that on here just to use it up, because I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> So anyway, it appears to be fine. I wish I had kind of like broken it up into little pieces, but that's the pot pie. Now I can't wait to try it. <sighs> I have to wait, but there you go. Alrighty, I'm finally finished and I think I got everything done. I'm happy with it and I can't wait to get my week going now that I have a little bit more prepared. <sighs> I also ended up just making some raspberry lemonade to go with the Starbucks Keto Pink Drink because I made the Keto Pink Drink and it tasted just fine. But after a while, I think it was like after an hour or so, my drink turned a funny color. It tasted just fine. I mentioned it tasted really good, but it turned a funny color and I wish I had taken a picture because it looked weird. So um, I'm gonna work on that. I think I need to try coconut milk. I used almond milk. So I'm gonna try coconut milk next. And if I get that, done before the video is. I'll make sure I take a picture at the end. So anyway, thanks for taking along and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!